So what is going on guys, welcome back to an episode of uh, Ark Aberrate, uh, why do I say that? I think that, I think when I got this game I had Aberration on it. But anyway, so I've done quite a bit of work since last time you guys seen. Um, oh, um, we have now got our force field up, so we are protected from any elements outside. We also have our, uh, two base defence going up now. Uh, this is what I'm building, currently in progress of building. Um, we also have it down there as well. So we have this same method here, uh, but down there. So what will happen now is I've built loads of walls and we'll put the walls uh, through like that. Um, and then we normally, what we do is we put another a, uh, another ramp going the opposite way uh, for the double ramp method. But I'm going to be leaving that because um, I really could not be bothered right now to do that. Uh, but yeah, so we've got the uh, foundations and whatnot coming up right now. Uh, I'm blocking these in, but oh god. Um, but hopefully I can be able to access them uh, while from here. So I'll jump and or just get a ladder up there or whatnot uh, to make it like you know simpler for me to get because I can't really leave them open because if they get past this first line of defence. Uh, they've got access to the whole thing, just where the turrets are. So, I mean, they're not going to know where the turrets are, but in, just in case they do know where they are, um, then, I mean, if you've got, I think it's tech armor, I'm pretty sure that you can see the turrets. Um, and if they do know where we are, then, uh, you know, they will try and break through there. But if they can't see that the wall isn't, like, how protected it is, I mean, you've got the force field to come through first, and plus we're on a 5,000 times server as well. So, where I'm pl uh, like positioned at the moment is quite a hard little place uh, to to be anyway. Um, and I just thought, how the hell am I going to do this? Okay, that's all right. Uh, yeah, so where I'm actually positioned right now in the middle of a swamp, uh, quite out in the sticks, really, uh, on an island. Literally, I've died probably about four times from uh, my own <laughs> my own uh, defenses. Uh, the reason being is. Uh, if you look uh, at on the slot six, these fences, these here. Uh, now I've got. I think they're prime. What are these? Are these primal uh, metal fire spike wall? So as soon as you touch it, even though I've got seven thousand health, guys, you touch it and instantly you're dead. Like you, you, there's no like give way or anything. You are literally dead as soon as you touch it, uh, which is the most annoying possible thing ever because I fell off the roof. And all of a sudden, you know, I'm, I'm there dead uh, <laughs> from my own spike. And I didn't even have a bed up. So that makes it even better. Um, so now we're struggling to even get up anywhere. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> oh, there we go. Um, so I made a primal furnace as well. I haven't actually used it yet, so I don't know if it's actually good or not. But I still have all them, if not. Um, I've done a lot of things since last episode um, if you have seen I would have put all this in but obviously this is just grinding I can't get up um, this is just grinding and stuff uh, how can we get up here <laughs> no do I have to jump on everyone no this ain't gonna work is it? I don't, don't want to be jumping every single one um, Foundash. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Uh, just ramp it. Okay, that's alright. I'll do that for now and I'll come back and remove that ramp. Uh, but yeah, so, I'd say, so we're just force building ourselves in, really, uh, trying to make the best possible uh, base. Can we stop lagging, please? Yeah, trying to make the best possible base we can really I mean some of the stuff's outside of the the uh, thing so I could do with another force field really uh, which I can create uh, it's just that you know I don't really want to do that right this second as I've only just created that one and it costs a lot of element and polymer now we're running out of resources so we're gonna have to go on a resource run because the amount of metal and whatnot I've used is actually insane uh, as you can tell um, we need more turrets as well so what I'm going to be doing now is making uh, 
glass walkways uh, out from here. So I'm going to cover the whole roof of this in um, in ceilings right now, and then we will uh, yeah in the, in the whole roof and ceilings uh, cover it in turrets, and then I'm going to make a layer underneath uh, for uh, more turrets and more defences uh, so that they can't get through. Now, while I'm doing this. Um, While I'm doing this, and I need to not forget about down there. Now, we have an underwater part which we said we're going to make into a uh, vacuum chamber room, which we will be doing shortly. Um, but obviously, I've got to get all the equipment for it first. Now, am I out of ceilings really? Okay, I'm nearly out of ceilings. So the one problem is, oh no, I've got I've got doors all the way about uh, doors. Uh, oh no, no 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 stop stop. Okay, so that's that side done. That's gonna send me crazy. Can we sort that out or no? Okay. Uh, okay, so we put a door up here as well. And then let's we'll put the doors up here. We have we've done that, and we just need to make a lot more roofs, roofs now. But this bit, this bit I'm all about. So uh, under here is protected anyway by the shield, but that's not the point. The point is we need to be able to. No, can we not place that there? So that like that, and then and then like again, so that they, if they do punch it through the wall, which they're not going to because that's the uh, weak, the strongest part of this all, then they're gonna have to punch through another door, uh, and we will put these in place as well, so that we have double protection. Because obviously we don't want to be getting raided anytime soon. Put that there as well for even more protection. Wait, is that even through? Oh, we're going to put that there. Okay. Um. Okay, and one more there. One more there. Uh, come in. Just recording an episode. Uh, and here, and then I think that's all good in the hood. I think. Have a look. Oh yeah, we got this bit to do here as well, which uh, I did run out of pillars and whatnot earlier. Uh, and it turns out we can't stack these pillars for some reason. Uh, so yeah, um, let's put these down here. Can we not? No. Okay. We put in the middle. In the middle. And can we put more pillows? Pillars? No? Okay. That's fine. It's fine. We've, we've got plenty of protection there anyway. And same with this side. And there. And so on and so forth. No? Not there, no, there. No. Okay, so. This now, our underwater little cavern where we're going to put our. Um, this probably be where we mainly store all that, like, very, very expensive things. So. Uh, what I'm going to do is put vacuum chambers down there and then we'll have all our expensive equipment and whatnot down there. Uh, now, we've just got to finish the roof on this space uh, and then it's all in input. And we've got to create now like a million ceilings. So, um, I think we've run out of this paste again. Oh dear. Resources, resources, resources. So I can make 202 of them um, and the turrets as well I forgot about them so we've got four heavy turrets in here and I want them to be upstairs and these require uh, it doesn't tell us there so if we go upstairs and place these where I want them which would be like I'm going to have like uh, one there and one there, 
I'm going to have one over here. And then one over here. So that means we've got four, uh, four turrets. Turn on. Hello. Okay, that's on. That's on. That's on. And then these require advanced rifle bullets. Okay. So, um, I think also I'm going to put a safe up here uh, with like some gear in. So if I do die while I'm defending, I can just literally grab gear and go. Um, which hopefully we won't die with all the armor that. Well, we haven't really got that much armor at the moment. We need to raid the base to see if we've got any good blueprints for us because that's what we need. Um, right, gunpowder, uh, plenty in here. And we've got plenty of paste as well. That's right. Okay, gunpowder can go in here, and we need, I think it was advanced rifle bullets, which are there, and it's metal. Okay, that's fine. So, let's go up here first. Let's go and empty these out, because these seem to be full still. Um, these are all S plus refinery forges. And we have 100,000. Whoa, okay. <laughs> it's a lot more than I thought I'd have. Um, okay, right. Okay. And we can create. Beautiful. Okay, so that's going on whatever it's doing there. Put some more iron in here. Now. I'm gonna go back to that safe that is um, outside. Actually, no, I'm gonna leave that because, yeah, because I don't think anyone's gonna find that. If I'm honest. Um, yeah, I don't think anyone's gonna find that. If they do, then <laughs> we're <met. laughs> we're fucked basically. Uh, yeah, yeah. They, these are the spikes I died on. Now <laughs> they. Are. <laughs> I could literally touch that. I think I fell off and landed there, and then I fell. I, well, I deleted that one, jumped off, and I fell and landed on one of these. And they kill you literally instantly. Like, you touch it, you're dead. Like, you don't even get a chance to even, you know, remotely do anything right. Um, so, we've got a nice chest piece and head gear there. Um, and we've got lots of toxic bullets and a teleporter remote, which we could do. We could do a teleporter. I think we could, you know. Um, let's see if there's anything else in here that's decent. I mean, uh, got some turrets, uh, some trank bullets for the AP rifle, so that tranquilizes. We've got five more tech turrets plus, so. Uh, requires consumes element while firing has a variety of smart targeting configuration options. So I got five of them. With a fig. Oh dear, sorry, I'm tired at the moment. Uh, I think I'm gonna do that soon. Um, hmm. There's nothing really here that's like worth it. I mean, gunpowder. We we'll take that. But I'm gonna try make a teleport um, thing. For us. So yeah, this is the front. This is like one of the front of the bases. Now we've done that two times thing again with the uh, ramps and that. And you walk in, you come through into a little area where it's guarded off and that. But you've got a door this side and door that side, and then that door leads into a door, which leads into a, a door, and you get greeted by a tech turret, and then you go through a door again into another door, and then you're in the base. So <laughs> quite a few doors. Um, see how many bullets we've got. Oh. Uh. Okay, so we've actually got quite a few at the moment. Let me transfer these upstairs into the uh, church. Okay, that's that's cool. It takes it. That's alright then. So now we've got a thousand bullets in each one of these. Okay, five hundred in these two because crafting more. Okay, that's cool. Right. So what I'm going to do now is finish this episode here. Um, all I'm going to do now is just finish off that roof. 
um, because it needs doing before I go offline because uh, I don't want to be raved while I'm off which is the most annoying thing if I do and I lose all this but I will carry on with this base anyway even if I do get raided um, but yeah so let's go up here it's through here oh, nearly fell off the map there and I found a little ramp which we made and then we're just going to place all these down and end the episode here so I want to thank you all for watching guys I hope you have enjoyed um, please leave a like and a comment if you want to see more Ark, uh, Rag Ragnarok and I'll be doing Aberration series as well uh, I think I uploaded uh, well I'll upload an episode uh, very soon of that I'm just going to edit that one because um, of all the issues I ran into while recording uh, server restarts and stuff so uh, hopefully that's going to be a good episode and you guys will enjoy that uh, but if not, then, you know, just unsubscribe, go away, no one cares, you know, no one likes you if you don't like me. And yeah, <laughs> thanks for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.